G'day, this is Gary007 and welcome to my channel. This is Avorian. So this is uh, uh, system requirements, uh, how to try and improve performance within Avorian. Now, I am no computer expert. I'm just going to talk, I'm just going to be straight with you. I, I'm, I'm not an expert uh, on anything um, when it comes to uh, graphics cards or memory or um, systems or stuff like that but this is my experience um i've had i've i've been i've had a bad experience this week <laughs> and trying to get this game running again and it all started with me put replacing the graphics card in it thinking that you know i'll try and improve my performance in game now at the moment i'm getting 178 frames per second so you know that's not too bad i can't i can't uh, knock it and i'm really happy with the way the game's performing However, it's taken a week to get here, so um, I'll just talk through the process of um, how that looked like, <laughs> really. So there are some tips and tricks within this video, and um, yeah, I'm wanting to hear your feedback when it came, comes to Avorian. So I want to just jump out of the game and just get straight into it. Now, I bought a new graphics card thinking that I, I'd be able to um, improve my performance and that did not happen so we'll talk about the system requirements for this game right uh, so the requirements for uh, Avorian is 64-bit processing operating system I think that's standard for just about every operating system now uh, uh, processor sorry 64-bit processor the operating system 7 Windows 7 or higher the processor Intel i5 at 3 GHz or an a AMD equivalent. Memory for 4 GB of um, RAM and the graphics card Nirvana GeForce 550 or equivalent. I want to dispute something here. I think this is not right and I don't think this is right either to, to properly play this game in all of its entirety. I had a GTX 950 and I want to show you something. So that's a 555. This is a user benchmark. If I put in GTX uh, 555, this is the rec graphics card they recommend. Right. And this is the one I was using. This one gives you 170% more performance than the GTX 555. This here, I don't understand. This this is like the worst graphics card in the world. Um, it's I this shouldn't. This, I I I struggled to run the game on a GTX 950. Now I upgraded the GTX. I went from the GTX 950 and I upgraded. My graphics card to a GTX 1650 Super. Now these aren't out of the world graphics cards, right? But I get another 120% more performance than the 950. So when I went out and bought this graphics card, I thought to myself, oh, you know, now I'm not going to get lag. It should it should solve some issues. I put this into my system. And the system ran poorly and i mean it ran really poorly so if you want to know what your system is you just need to go to into windows and come up to system now my system at the moment has got an intel core i5 6600 cpu uh nothing spectacular it's a good cpu though uh, it meets the recommended uh, requirements i went out and decided to buy the graphics card, put it in, and it underperformed. And I couldn't work out why. If you come to use a benchmark, um, you run a you run a benchmark, you come up to test, hit free uh, free download. What this does is now this is just a benchmark I run. It doesn't matter, just find one that you're comfortable with running, but this uh, GPU user benchmark. I use this G uh, uh, benchmark 
to find out if my components are running properly, they're working together, and to see where my components sit on a score compared to other people with the same components. So this is what this benchmark does uh, for you. It's, it's quick, a couple of minutes. Now I am recording, so just take that in the back of your mind uh, when the benchmark <laughs> um, presents itself. But yeah, I, at the same time, all week, uh, I went out and bought a microphone, a Blue Yeti microphone. I have spent three days trying to get the sound right, and I'm still not happy. <laughs> I have tried everything, and I can't believe the people recommend the Blue Yeti uh, microphone as being a good microphone. I Maybe it is, and I'm just not quite there yet in fine-tuning it to 100%, but I tell you, it's it's tough. It's tough living with this Blue Yeti microphone. Um, after this video, I'll be playing around with the sound again even more. But um, yeah, and I bought it with the arm. Uh, I went down to EB Games. It's in Australia. I don't I don't know what sort of gaming store you'd have in the US, but I went down to a gaming store and bought the uh, computer boom arm with the uh, which is the blue, the blue boom arm or whatever they bloody call it and yeah, the Blue Yeti microphone. And I had a microphone before. It was like a stadium $30 microphone that I was using to record my pre or previous videos. I liked it. It didn't have an issue with it. This one here, this one here I'm using right here, oh, I'm not happy. It picks up like a like the slightest noise, you know, across the road. It's, it's so hard um, to use. Anyway... <laughs> My problems, first world problems, but anyway, this benchmark is a good benchmark to run uh, to see where your system runs, uh, how it compares to other components that other people use in their PCs. So before you go out and buy any gear, um, upgrade your system, come to a user benchmark, have a look to see if your components are running at 100%, you know, they're all running at a good score. So that's finished. So we'll just close that. So what it tells us, the CPU, uh, the processor is running well, uh, about 82, 82%. Graphics card is running at 84, uh, 54%. Um, everything looks at all good. So it'll give you a graph like this. So it'll tell you what your processor is. I5-6600, it's running great, 82%. It, it's um, performing way above expectation. Uh, my graphics card at the moment is perform performing quite poorly, but that's because I am recording, so there is a bit of a load on it. So I'm not too concerned, but this is what you're going to get as a picture. Uh, benchmark 54%, it's kind of poor. But we'll talk about improving that, and we'll talk about improving that even more. Now your drivers, don't worry about any of your drivers. Now we'll talk about the hard drive. Now the hard drive is what got me. <coughs> uh, sorry, not hard drive. <laughs> um, my RAM, DDR4 RAM. I had 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM in here. right? I had one, one, I didn't have two sticks, it was just one stick of 8 gig DDR4. Poor, the performance on that was poor, really, really poor. So I decided, well, I bought the graphics card. It's not performing well. I went and did a benchmark test, decided, oh, hang on. You know, my RAM is actually falling behind here. No wonder it's like choking up my system. So I went out and bought another DDR4 RAM, another 8 gig. So that would give me my 16 gig of RAM. Guess what? It performed really badly. It surprised me. So what happened? What was the problem with the RAM? Well, <laughs> this is the problem with the RAM. Now, this is a screenshot of a YouTube video of an Asus um, BIOS pick. So this is what your BIOS looks like in your system. Well, it looks like in my system, right? Not my system, but it looks like what? Looks like uh, the BIOS in my system. When you go out and buy another sticker RAM, they have to be the same frequency. The other RAM that I bought, an older one back in 2005, runs on a different frequency to the new RAM that comes out. 
Lo and behold, I didn't know this. I went back to the computer sheet and said, mate, it's running worse. What's going on? Is there something that I'm missing here? When we did the benchmark test, now where is it? Where did it go? Benchmark. Oh, here it is here, sorry. When I ran when I ran the benchmark test here, keep an eye out for the frequency here. Uh, mine was running at three thousand something when it should have been 2,666 or something. So I had one sticker RAM running at a different frequency to the other, and one equalized the other out, and it just ended up being the wrong frequency altogether. And my RAM that I had in my computer was running poorly. So when when, when jump into um, BIOS, um, first find out if your RAM is running at the right frequency, and then adjust the frequency to what it is I, I can't tell you what it is I'm not a technician but this is the problem that I had this week among other things but this is this is one of the problems that I had to sort out so I had to change the RAMs I took out the old RAM and put two new RAM sticks in two two sticks of eight and ran them at the right frequency and then rebooted the BIOS and saved it and rebooted the BIOS again so that fixed the RAM problem now I've got two sticks of DDR4 RAM at 16 gigs because this computer this game uses a lot of ram too so you want 16 gigs um the four gig is way too low that's that's i i don't understand the recommended um on on the steam page for this game being four gig of ram i had eight gig in here whether or not it was on its way out or not um when you're building stuff it, it uses a lot of ram and your computer uses a lot of cpu and onboard graphics card RAM is another thing that um, that that this game pushes quite hard. So how do you how do you increase your CPU? Because my CPU was um, performing quite poorly. Now, how I fixed that was um, without getting I without changing clock speeds and all that sort of stuff i had an easy tuning system within my boss where i could go from normal to turbo mode or whatever they friggin call it so i i increased i um i upped the uh, cpu performance and and pushed it a little bit harder and that um relieved a lot of stress on the system because my choke point now is not my gpu my graphics card my choke point now is my cpu now you can talk about clocks and speeds and um, all the rest of it, but I I've got to work with what I've got on my motherboard. If I change the CPU, I've got to change the motherboard, unless I get an i7. But I wasn't going to go there. So my CPU is um, my choke point in my computer. I've recognised that now, and I've um, and I've done and I've overclocked um, my CPU. I've increased my RAM, and so the choke point's no longer in the RAM. The next thing you can do, right, close all this down. Close you down. So I don't agree with that RAM, and I don't agree with the graphics card, the no, the GeForce 550. Um, that's just, I, I just don't get it. So the other thing that I did, and now I know that I said the choke point, was was the um, CPU now the GPU doesn't mean that I can't the GPU was performing poorly so how did I increase the performance all right so I've downloaded uh, MSI afterburner now this software is uh, software that you can download for free right um, we just go MSI after better download. Now this 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 is free software. Uh, this this helps you overclock your GPU, um, and you just download it from this website, and and then you can start playing around with it. There are uh, tutorials online about MS Afterburner, but basically what this does is it allows you to overclock your GPU 
to allow it to run a lot harder. And there's settings in here where you can change uh, the fan speed and all the rest of it to kick in. The way to do that um, when you're looking at GPU um, is you're, you're going to need to be able to benchmark it against something. So I've got a program called um, Haven uh, DX11 Benchmark, and this is an older program. It doesn't really matter what program you use, as long as you're stress testing your GPU. That's all it is, you're stress testing the GPU. So I've got the system, I've got it set at system, I've got it um, anti-analyzing at 8, um, extreme, 11, quality, ultra, custom, and all the rest of it. So when you start running it, <coughs> there are other things to this. Now I'll just do um, alt-tab to bring up uh, afterburner. Now, it probably it's probably going to glitch a little bit but you can change the clock speed um, forward or forward you can't really break your computer so if you're worried about downloading this what will happen if you push your graphics card too hard when you try to overclock it it'll just shutter and start to shut down it'll shut down your computer just reboot it and none of these settings will be saved um, so MSI Afterburner allows you to play with the clock speed on your GPU and push it harder and harder. Um, you can't really, like, I think graphics cards are really stable, like in, in the sense that you can have an overclocked graphics card for some time. And it's, it, 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 you, your graf, you'll, you'll outgrow your graphics card before it stops working properly, if you know what I mean. With the way games come out, um, the graphic card might not be able to keep up with the latest games, but it, it'd still be going. It won't break down because you've overclocked it. So MSI Afterburner is a way to um, overclock your graphics card um, and push it a little bit harder to try and get uh, better performance out of your GPU. So if you overclock your CPU, um, and if you overclock your um, uh, GPU and you've looked at your hardware, um, use a benchmark, that's some of the ways to look at um, improving your side of things when it comes to trying to run a Vorium. Now, I've had issues trying to run a Vorium all week. So, yeah, it's been it's been a learning curve and it's been extremely painful. So, you, all you'd have to do with a program like this is hit benchmark and let it run. Now, I'm not going to... I had to back off the afterburner. This, this um, overclocking program uh, won't run automatically unless you set it up to run automatically in here um, you can have it to start with windows and this will automatically start with your preset programs and you just slowly increase it look out for any tears in the program and of course i am recording and trying to do a parent benchmark right so it's not gonna be it's not gonna look like you know really great but just have a think about um, doing a benchmark. Maybe you've done benchmarks in the past and you haven't done one recently. Maybe look at your overclock CPU. But yeah, that's uh, that's about all I've got to say on this. I've I've played around now. When I did all of that, I ended up uh, now. You better turn that off. You probably can hear the fans of the computer in the background. <laughs> So even if I turn all of that off, um, and I go into Steam, go into Vorian, and I went and uninstalled the game, and then reinstalled it, and then it was still running a little bit poorly, and then I uninstalled it, reinstalled it, and then uninstalled it, and reinstalled it, I even tried different drives, and then I put it on my SSD card, and the game's been running fine ever since. I... <laughs> So it's not completely your hardware some of the times, um, but this time for me, that was my experience, um, just changing a graphics card. And then that's not even talking about the cables that weren't working properly. So um, I've been having cable issues trying to run a second monitor. So the other side of it is to try and uninstall and reinstall the game. But anyway, that's my experience when it comes to uh, troubleshooting the game and stuff like that. A lot of it, uh, when you are running the game, uh, try to have a look and see if... Um, see, I'm opening up Avorian now. So a lot of that has to do 
with the way. Now, Avorian's running in the background. I had this, it spikes, it'll spike up and down. Um, you want to see how well your CPU is really performing and handling the game. It might not be for, behor, performing well because the software hasn't been installed properly. The game, it's just, I don't know, there's something weird about it. I uninstalled it and installed it three or four times and then it went, you know, it was fine. After that, for some reason, it was like um, someone had taken their foot off my throat and now the game's running properly. So yeah, I am getting 190 frames per second now. So anyway, that is my experience when it comes to uh, Avorian and trying to problem solve a lot of the issues that are in it. Uh, don't forget to hit, uh, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment below. I want to hear your game, uh, what, what you've done to improve your game performance and stuff like that. Maybe you've turned off Windows Defender and it helped, you know. But anyway, um, alright. I'll see you guys in the galaxy. Bye.